This is Diane Simmons for the 6 o'clock news. In our top story today, three teenagers were charged with felony involuntary manslaughter in the death of their 16-year-old friend this weekend in Brigham County, Idaho. The boy was pronounced dead after being picked up in a local field following a 911 call. He had apparently been huffing or inhaling the concentrated contents of a common air freshener. And in other news, the police released report today of the death of 17-year-old Boonville High School senior, Carissa Crone. Carissa was with friends at her Tennyson home while her parents were asleep upstairs when she reportedly huffed the contents of her parents' can of butane, typically used for refilling lighters. This was the second time Carissa ever abused inhalants. The cause of death? Suffocation. Her death comes as a shock to those who knew her. Her friends and teachers report that she was never in trouble and was a joy to be around. The prevalence and dangers of inhalant abuse rears its ugly head again as recent reports of the deaths of two local teenagers are released. Zach and his friend Amber died this weekend after inhaling the contents of a can of dust off bought at Big Lots for $3.90. Zach was going to start pharmacy school in September. His mother wants parents to know how accessible these deadly chemicals are to teenagers and it is vital not to assume your son or daughter is immune to the danger. Two local parents speak out today about the inhaler-related death of their son, Ricky Williams. Ricky died after inhaling the Freon from the family's air conditioner. Ricky's parents hope that by telling their story, other parents will be able to recognize the signs of abuse and talk to their kids about the dangers. Today, father of Kyle Williams speaks out about the inhalant-related death of his 14-year-old son. Kyle's dad found his son in his bedroom unconscious with a can of compressed air between his legs and the straw still in his mouth. Kyle's dad, a police officer, and his mother, a nurse, say that they spoke to their son often about the dangers of drugs, but they were unaware that their son could be abusing these common household products. <laughs> 